Hey guys, welcome back. BDC Gear here. We're back with our weekly recap for the week of the 23rd of November, 2017. To start off, we'd like to wish a happy Thanksgiving to our American neighbors. I uh, hope you're having a good one. Lots of turkey and stuffing. Mm, yeah, we already had our Thanksgiving. But anyways, getting into the game. The challenge is currently the new 52 Superman for one more week. And the requirements for that are Flash, Green Lantern, and Wonder Woman. So that's two bronzes and one silver if you're looking for the lowest kind of tier to get them at. Right. Uh, the online multiplayer award is Arkham Origins Deadshot. That's the last of the new characters, although not the last of the new announced content since we're still waiting on one more piece of gear. And the top 5% get a copy of him. Mm -hmm. The info on the main page still hasn't changed from the Survivor gear set. It's still showing LexCorp without an end date, which means that it's still probably the Suicide Squad gears, unless someone tells us otherwise. Yeah, based on the reports we've seen, this is a Android-specific problem, as iOS seems to be rotating properly. Yeah, so not sure exactly what's going on with that, but hopefully yeah. it'll be fixed soon. We've also, as you can see, got double XP for four days. So this is a perfect time to level anyone you need up to 50 or 60. So, and after all the anticipation for Black Friday sales, and we already passed through it earlier, but I want to point out there's nothing particularly special unless something better comes out on the day itself, because following the lead of a lot of retailers, they've started their Black Friday sales on Thursday, mm. and there's three packs for real money, and going from the most expensive to least, you either get, or not you either, you get three random gold cards with uh, gear cards, support cards, and power credits, or one random gold with fewer gear cards, support cards, and power credits, or two random silvers with, I think, one gear card, one support card, and the least amount of power credits. Mm -hmm. And I feel like there there was a really missed opportunity here. If they're going to try to create some buzz for paid content where you actually drop real money, you know what they really should have done? What? A pack for augmentations. Oh, that would have been good. Yeah, there, there hasn't been a pack for augmentations at all. So you're not talking about content that you could normally get with power credits. Um, and I think th they probably would have had a pretty positive response with that. And I feel like it would have maybe not had the same kind of positive response. I think people would have complained, but I think y they could always do like a, a purchase only character really, if they wanted to build, if they wanted to really compel yeah. people to buy stuff, I guess it would feel a little cheap though for well, people who weren't or, willing to pay. You know, the way Pokemon, Pokemon did it was like with content that doesn't affect the game, but it's to, to, um, customize your guys. So you know how they can customize the Red Sun team with Green Lanterns on it, yeah. and they have armor, if you could customize, like, not exactly new skin, but customize a character like that. So just some, like, visual, like, customization. Yeah. The same way that in Injustice 2, the the console game, you actually, your your gear makes you look different. Yep. Mm. And also there's, uh, did you, I wasn't totally paying attention. We didn't mention it. Um, you can also get uh, double the number of power credits for real money. So right, for, so whatever for the price, price it's double, yeah. Right, right, right. So... Anyways, moving on to the current glitches. Remember that every working glitch is explained in a video. As part of the playlist, you can reach by clicking the I in the top right corner of this video. So the breakthrough glitch is still working, and we're going to get it right this time because we screwed it up last time. But the, based on information, a uh, big thank you to Marcos M. That, um, so some people were experiencing a problem where when they advanced uh, to a different time zone, that the clock for breakthrough wasn't going with it. We can't test it, but he's reported that when he's up in his words to so those who are having trouble with breakthrough time zone glitch instead of closing and reopening the app just click online battle then back to main screen works like a charm so if your breakthrough clock isn't advancing when you change the time zone online back in let us know if that's working for you mm -hmm. and the challenge reset glitch is still working and that's tested and confirmed on new 52 superman the airplane mode slash refund glitch is still working, and that's good for both packs with random drops and last laugh tickets, basically just re-rolling any opening. Mm -hmm. um, time shifting still works in Android for unlimited survivor play and energy recharges. As always, return your cooldown clock back to normal before you finish up with that. Right. The free energy without having to watch the video still works. You just need to click whatever the equivalent of the home button on your device is and um, immediately reopen the app and you'll skip the video. Uh, the promotion glitch where you can promote uh, characters that are still locked still has not had the right condition since update 2.14. So uh, as always, or I guess as of recently, for, for a mm. while now, it's been not testable and not usable. It, it just feels like always. Yeah, <laughs> it feels like it's a 
consistent. It's a constant. Yeah. But um, anyways, I, we're keeping it in there until we can confirm that it's not working because if it is, take advantage of it while you can. Right. And so the last word, still no proper glitch for last laugh tickets or for power credits. Yeah. All right. So there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Komoda. Komoda.